Software that implements uh, modern numerical methods has two features that aren't present in codes like ODE4 and classical Rungakata. The methods in the software can estimate error and provide automatic step size control. Uh, you don't specify the step size H, you specify an accuracy you want. And the methods estimate the error as they go along and adjust the step size accordingly. And they provide a fully accurate continuous interpolant. They don't just provide the solution at a discrete set of points. They provide a function that defines the solution everywhere in the interval. And so you can plot it, find zeros of the function, um, uh, provide a facility called event handling, and so on. Larry Champagne is an authority on the numerical solution of ordinary differential equations. He's the principal author of this textbook about solving ODEs with MATLAB. He's a now emeritus professor at uh, Southern Methodist University in Dallas. And he's been a longtime consultant to the MathWorks about the development of our ODE suite. Champagne and his student Premyshla Bokachki published this method in 1989, and it's the basis for ODE 2.3, the first um, of the methods we will uh, use out of the MATLAB ODE suite. The basic method is order 3, and the error estimate is based on the difference between the order 3 method and an underlying order 2 method. There are four slopes involved. The first one is the value of the function at the start of the interval, but that's based on something called FSAL, first same as last, where that slope is most likely left over from the previous step. If the previous step was successful, this function value is the same as the last function value from the previous step. That slope is used to step into the middle of the interval. Function is evaluated there. That slope is used to step three quarters of the way across the interval. And the, a third slope obtained there. Then these three values are used to take the step. Yn plus 1 is a linear combination of these three function values. Then the function is evaluated to get a fourth slope at the end of the interval. And then these four slopes are used to estimate the error. The error estimate here is the difference between yn plus 1 and another estimate of the solution that's obtained from a second order method that we don't actually evaluate. We just need the difference between that method and yn plus 1 to estimate the error. This estimated error is compared with a user-supplied tolerance. If, it's, if the estimated error is less than the tolerance, then the step is successful. And this fourth slope, S4, becomes the S1 of the next step. If the error is bigger than the tolerance, then the error can be the basis for adjusting the step size. In either case, the error estimate is the basis for adjusting the step size for the next step. This is the Bocacci Champagne Order 3-2 method uh, that's the basis for ODE 2-3. Um, ODE Let's look at some very simple uses of uh, ODE 2.3 just to get started. I'm going to take the differential equation y prime is equal to y. So I'm going to compute um, e to the t. And you know, just call ODE 2.3 on the interval from 0 to 1 with initial value 1. No output arguments. 
if I call ODE23, it just plots the solution. Here it is, it just produces a plot, it picks a step, step size, goes from zero to one, and here it gets um, the final value of E, 2.7 something. If I do supply output arguments, I say T comma Y equals ODE T23, it comes back with values of T and Y. OD23 picks the values of T it wants. This is a trivial problem. It ends up a picking a step size of 0.1. Uh, after it gets started, it chooses initial step size of 0.08 for whatever reason, uh, for whatever it, error tolerances. And the final value of Y is 2.718, which uh, is the value of E. So, these are the two simple uses of ODE23. If you has, don't supply any output arguments, it d draws a graph. If you do supply output arguments T and Y, it comes back with the values of T and Y, um, choosing the values of T to, to uh, meet the error. The default error tolerance is 10 to the minus 3. So this value is going to be accurate to three digits and sure enough, that's what we got. Now let's try something a little more challenging to see the uh, automatic uh, error control and step size choice in action. Set A equal to a quarter, and then set Y not equal to 15.9. If I would set it to 16, I, which is one over A squared, I'd run into a singularity. Now the differential equation is y prime is equal to 2 a minus t times y squared. I'm going to integrate this with ODE 23 on the interval from 0 to 1 starting at y naught and saving the results in t and y and then plotting them. So here's my plot command, and there's the solution. So there's a near singularity at A. It nearly blows up, and then it settles back down. So the points are bunched together as you go up to the singularity and come back down, but then get farther apart as the solution settles down, and it's the ODE solver is able to take bigger steps. To see what steps were actually taken, let's compute the difference of t and then plot that. So here are the step sizes that were taken, and we see that it's a Small step size was taken near the singularity, near the almost singularity at, at 0.25. And then as we get towards the end of the interval, a larger step size is taken. And then finally, um, the step size just to reach the end of the interval uh, is taken uh, as the last step. So that's the automatic step size choice uh, of um, ODE 23. BS23 has a nice natural interpolant that goes along with it that's actually been known for over a hundred years. It's called Hermit cubic interpolation. We know that two points determine a straight line. Well, two points and two slopes determine a cubic. On each interval, we have the values of y and yn plus 1. We also have two slopes, namely this, we have the derivatives at the endpoints, yn prime and yn plus one prime, or the, that's the values of the, the function, the differential equation at those points. So those four values determine a cubic that goes through those two points and has those two slopes. This cubic allows 
the software to evaluate the solution at any point in the interval without additional cost as defined by addition evaluations of the function f. This can be used to draw graphs of the solution, nice smooth graphs of the solution, uh, find zeros of the solution, do event handling, uh, and so on. Another feature provided by uh, ODE 2.3.